Hey guys, how's it going? Jam here. Now, you may have noticed that I've started uploading a few videos again recently. I'm not doing as many sort of series as things, or series and sort of random videos and challenges and entertainment more based stuff, which I did before, but I'm just sort of doing a bit of a racing vlog sort of thing. So if there's any racing I'm doing, I'm probably going to end up uploading it to YouTube. And uh, yeah. I, I kind of got the buzz back for doing a bit of video editing. I'm not I'm not the best at it, but I quite enjoy it, so I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, this is actually the first video where I've started talking again, <laughs> since I've started uploading again. Um, I started doing a few videos just as, uh, sort of, as I say, just as a racing vlog, and I had, didn't talk over it, and I've watched them back myself, and I think they're a little bit dull. So I thought I might try and spice it up a little bit. Now I'm sort of got back into the groove of editing videos that I might actually start talking again so this is the first one of those and uh, I hope it's not a total disaster. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is actually the start of a sort of mini series I might do on and off for a bit and uh, it was actually a suggestion from my good friend Tom so thanks Tom for the idea. It's as you can tell by the title uh, Jam Does Hoppers and that's what I'm going to do at the start of a video if I do one of these. I'm going to pick a single car as you can probably see on screen, this time I'm going for a Volkswagen Scirocco. It's already built and everything, it's just one I had in my garage. This is one, this one is in C-Class. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and do a few C-Class public hoppers and see how it goes. Uh, I'll probably just do two races and cut out the best bits. Uh, my internet still isn't the best, so I can't really do very long videos. I think I've worked it out. If I, if I make videos limited at about 15 minutes, then I can upload them overnight. So I start uploading when I go to sleep. It'll be done by the time I wake up again. That is that is how bad my internet is. But it you know it works for me. I don't need to use my laptop during the night when I'm sleeping, so it's okay. But uh, yeah, I've rambled on for too long again. Uh, that some things never changed. Uh, some things never change rather. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop stumbling over my words and go and find a hopper. So I'll cut out the middle bit and I'll cut out all the boring bits in the races. And I'll try and sort of live comment, because that takes far less video editing effort. <laughs> and I'm still lazy, as always. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to stop talking, and I'll see you in there. Okay, race one is loading up now. And as you can see, we're going to Rio. Uh, I can't even remember which layout it is, but to me, it's all kind of irrelevant, because I don't like any of the Rio layouts. I'm not actually a fan of any of the three fictional locations on this game. Prague... It's probably just about my favourite of the of them, but really are the best of a bad bunch. Um, I don't know if it's just me or if that uh, Cuda was sort of lagging around a little bit in front of me. His front wheels were going left and right and left and right. And as per usual, there is a lot of crashing going on. Just about managing to avoid that Astra there. And I was trying to go past the Renault, but I collected. Uh, I don't know what that car was, it was either a GT86 or a BRZ. Considering they look identical without knowing, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Unless I can get really close to his rear bumper and read what it says. <laughs> Which, you know, maybe we can hopefully do as we go past the... round the outside of that <laughs> Renault Clear Williams. I don't know if that was an intentional tap on me or not. I don't know if he was one of the cars I managed to collect earlier. And it does, I think I can... Oh, yeah, I think that's a Toyota. I was looking at the badges on the... On Looking at the badge on the rear bumper as I went past there. Oh, that is a that, that was a big bump up from the rear end there. I really hate this corner. Can I keep it? Yeah, I did. I I so often hit the barrier around there. Just I don't know how to turn in. Like I said at the start of this race, I really, really, really don't like Rio. Uh, but unfortunately, I do actually know it because we do seem to go to it in lobbies far too often for my liking. Everyone seems to go up onto the bumpy bit there. I like to sort of stay here and break in a straight line. And considering I've made up, what's that, three positions on those guys that crashed, I'll, I'll take my line any day. But I do have a guy closing in behind me. There he is going to the inside. I think he's going to Lotus and land. Yeah, I didn't notice that it was very small. He's going to run wide, though, and clip the wall. And he's clipped me as he comes back past. I probably could have given him a bit more room there. But, uh, say, being front-wheel drive, him tapping my rear end really doesn't make much difference to me at all and uh, it's not a bad first lap I think I started near the back so down in around 15th ish I didn't actually take notice when I started I don't think I was right right at the back although I'm not sure so we've made up you know approximately 10 positions on the first lap and that Audi Quattro is all out of shape 
I'm having to take a slightly avoiding action there. Oh no! Yeah, that wasn't. That really wasn't a very good corner for me. Having to take a slight avoiding action so I didn't hit that quattro, and then it nearly hit the barrier on the next corner in doing so. Oh, and he's hit the barrier, and I've just that was that was very scary. I just clipped him as he spun back past, and it was a uh, unsettled the front of the car. And I just got into a little bit of a slide, but again, front wheel drive helping me out. If I'd been in a rear wheel drive car, then I probably would have spun out, and hopefully we don't get such a big bump this time. That was quite an impressive bit of airtime, actually. I think the whole car was off the ground. But uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to have a rather quiet rest of this race, judging by the uh, gaps in front and behind me. So I'm going to shut up for a little bit so I can concentrate, and I will probably cut out this next section, and I'll talk to you again if something else interesting happens. It would appear that my prediction was rather correct as I've got a thousand foot gap in front of me and about the same gap behind me as I come around the last few corners on the final lap. Fortunately I have managed to uh, not hit, hit anything while driving around on my own so it looks like I'm going to get a nice clean lap in which is very important in a hopper lobby because the uh, if you don't know this which I presume most people do the grid for the next race is set on the best lap times so the faster lap time you put in the uh, higher up the grid you're going to be, and obviously a clean lap is always going to be a ranked above a dirty lap. On the grid now for the second race, that uh, loaded in a lot quicker than I expected, but as I predicted I am indeed starting on the front row with the guy that won the last race, who's changed to a Porsche 918 for this uh, second race at Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. I think it's an international name, I don't know why I was going to say Brands Hatch International. Touch Indy be the name. But yes, obviously, I was getting a little bit of a slide on there. Can I go up the inside into the left hander? Well, I'm here, but no, he's got a huge amount of grip. I did have a look at the stats that his car has, and uh, his is an extreme handling build, so I don't really expect to be able to keep up with him through the corners. Especially being, well, I was, was, was going to say, especially being front wheel drive, but this car handles really nice, really rather nicely. Um, I, ra I normally rather hate uh, front-wheel drive cars in general, but again, this is Scirocco, I quite like. The Lotus Elise there, having a look at the inside of us, as we go down the pitch straight, we've got so much speed compared to these guys along the pitch straight. But uh, again, through the corners, I am really going to struggle, just watching that feet need a drop to the Lotus Elise, and as he dives up the inside of me, we'll give him room. See if we can get a sort of switch back line. Having to knock some tyres out of the way, that's not going to help. This is where I went and tried to up the inside of the Porsche last lap, but again, I just don't have the grip. And yeah, they're, they are in incredibly quick cars around here, and they're looking like they're very good drivers as well, so I'm probably not going to catch them. That's for sure. Well, I, well, you never know, they could tangle with each other. That's a, that's a possibility. This is an online hopper, so. Oh, anything's. Anything can happen, and it usually does, and it has. Running wide through the final corner, and I've clipped the gravel, which is not good at all. Still got about 100 feet to the car behind me, though, which is very fortunate. That Fiat 500 won't fly up the inside of the... I, I can't run. Typical. I did say those guys ahead could uh, have an incident between each other, and they looks like they had. Either that or the Porsche ran wide in his own. Either way, I probably should have... Oh, probably would have got past him had I not had my own incident on the last corner of the last lap. That's just how it goes sometimes, but I'm still in third place, which I'm relatively happy with. This Scirocco's, you know, it's, it's an alright car. To be honest, I picked Volkswagen because I need to uh, up the affinity. I don't quite have the max level affinity yet. And I do rather like the way that this Scirocco looks and drives, although it's not the fastest car in the world. I've definitely got uh, a lot faster C-Class cars in my garage. Uh, if there are any specific cars that you guys want me to drive, um, if I've got one in my garage, that, you know, I'll uh, drive that. So feel free to leave your suggestions, and if I don't have one in my garage, I'll probably just build one. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. If if you guys do suggest uh, a car for me to drive, I might do like a, a build and drive video, as a, and then just do the one race, or I might just build it off camera. I don't really know. Uh, let me know what you think in the, com in the comments. Uh, I know I don't 
obviously I'm a very, very small channel at the moment, so uh, every single viewer could comment, and uh, I'd still only have videos for a week. <laughs> Plan off. But, um, yeah, viewer interaction is something I'm, I very much like doing. Don't get, as I say, I'm a very small channel, so I don't get very many comments or anything, so if you do comment, I guarantee that it will be in a video, and that's not something else, that's not something you get many anywhere else or in many other places, but then again, so there aren't many YouTubers that you probably watch that are as small as I am. Oh, and now I'm rambling again and not really concentrating on my driving. I just realised, about a lap ago, I was looking to see what was going on behind me, but uh, I kind of neglected that and I haven't really got a clue now. I'm sort of driving around on my own. Um, yeah, on the last lap now. I, I would normally probably cut out these boring bits, but as it's the first episode and as I've been chatting a little bit too much, as always, and uh, as I cut out a bit of the first race, I probably might more than especially being on the last lap now. And now, same, that I've completely run out of things to say. So I'll just go for a, I'll just go for a quick recap of what I just said. So yeah, if you, you want me to drive any car you like, I guarantee I'll drive it in the next video that I make, provided that I don't have another suggestion first. And it's that simple, really, as we come across the line to finish in uh, third place. That last lap was just about our quickest by four thousandths of a second, so that's really rather good consistency on show there, apart from the minor mistake that uh, sent me into the gravel on the penultimate corner of about lap two, I think it was. Anyway, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Jam does hoppers, and I've done a few hoppers, and, you know, that's the video. <laughs> so there's really not much else to say. Uh, thanks for watching, if you've made it this far, feel free. And uh, I highly encourage you to send in those car suggestions because I never know what to drive. I'm always picking and choosing and swapping about. So if you suggest something, then I'll use it. But apart from that, that's that's all there is to say. So thank you very much for watching again. I know I've said it twice now, but I appreciate it twice as much as some YouTubers because I'm so small. <laughs> that's that's possibly true. I don't know. But either way, I'm grateful and I'm rambling again. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching again. And I've. Gotta just right, just end the video now, chap. End the video. Goodbye, people. Bye. <laughs>